Hey everybody and welcome to Persona 3 Reload, the final trailers. Uh, that's right, we are at the end of the marketing campaign for Persona 3 Reload. Uh, you know, we've got all the character trailers, all the character portraits, uh, kind of all the stuff that the really big push, uh, you know, to get people to pre-order, uh, you know, during the holiday season before, uh, you know, before it, the game comes out on February 2nd. So we are going to be doing a, sort of a kind of a kind of a run through, uh, you know, of course, I've reacted to everyone's trailer uh, on this channel, but I would kind of want to do a little bit of a mini ranking thing, uh, you know, where we look at uh, all the stuff where they're all out of attacks because that was released. Uh, their portraits, you know, all the stuff and just kind of rating, uh, you know, how, how what the update has really done uh, for these characters. So without further ado, let's get started. As soon as this plays out there, Shinji. Yeah, buddy. All right. Yeah, it is uh, looking it's looking pretty good. And I'm really glad uh, I got a chance to actually uh, wait out and do this stuff because it did take a while for this stuff to actually release. So let's go ahead and take a look at first the all out attack. So we're going to we're going to do uh, all out attacks and the uh, yeah, there's the portraits here. And then there's also going to be the theories, which I just pulled up everyone's trailer for that because nobody clipped it. And then the outfits themselves. And then I have a tier list over here to kind of rank them, uh, you know, slight, not not too harshly. It's again, it's 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 all in good fun, uh, you know, or maybe it's not. And maybe I just hate some characters. I'm just kidding. I love all of them. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we got the outfits and then we'll 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 do the all out attacks first and then we're going to swap from theurgy theurgies into outfits and we'll kind of do the back and forth from there but yeah let's start with the all out attacks just because uh, there's way too many uh way too many things in there and speaking of uh thank you to everyone who has been compiling these things you know uh just one gamer uh meow cat on twitter and who's this on vesk who got the high quality screenshots because the you couldn't find these anywhere uh i was digging forever i'm like what the heck where do these go but yeah make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well as their channels uh you know or follow you know because it's twitter so that they can uh, have your support as we move into persona 3 reload season uh in approximately you know one and a half months anyway let's get started with just the all-out attacks first uh, i am curious to see what they look like this time around though so we've only seen three but you know let's see the rest oh yeah yeah i picked this i picked the uh, gamers video specifically because of that looks really good yeah I, I will i might pause every so often but yeah well, well eh, maybe not but. all right dashing out with the sword adjust your tie very nice very nice not really your tie your walkman but yeah drop a bow shot on them yep we've seen this one nice nice junpei trips <laughs> just like ryuji oh that's cute all right this is the new one akigo wipes off the sweat on to the next bout mitsuru kneel before me yes i'm just kidding <laughs> I guess does a backflip. Boom. Target neutralized. Can spit. Uh, and he fell over. <laughs> Don't look down at me, bro. You fell down. What do you mean? Koro draws his dagger. <laughs> Shinjiro posing. Slams it down. And don't waste your breath. Sheesh. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of want to do that uh, really quick sizzle reel just because uh, no point in pausing in between because you actually have the stuff here anyway. Uh, but yeah oh okay so for starters i like you know the all the all out attacks like they look really good and um of course i mean like you know i will like persona 5 uh because it is the one that did it first but also uh they had a ton more sound effects uh going on in theirs but i i think that'll also possibly be the case here there is the overlay music uh that is going on you know in this trailer uh as it goes through but you know they they, they all they have like the very like you know simple formula uh you know that they've been using ever since persona 3 onwards and in fact it looks very close to persona 3 it's a lot less emphasis uh you know on all the enemy bashing it's also really nice that um i'm really glad atlas released these because uh you know in game there's actually going to be the shuffle time system where it pauses before the all-out attack finishes which honestly i really wish that wasn't the case but you know shuffle time is a required mechanic uh kind of for the game it was designed with it so you know you gotta stick with it but yeah these are all the all-out attack screens uh maybe we won't stay too long on our rate. I actually thought it was going to take too long, but you know what? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, so here we go. All the care, all the normal character portraits. Uh, we're not going to rank these because they're almost nearly identical uh, to the originals. I should have grabbed the uh, secondary ones, but yeah. Uh, there's also the adaptive portraits because they do have the armbands versus the shoulder pads. Look at that. It looks so good. Uh, yeah, and like this is also why I wanted to rank the outfits because they do get a lot of changes 
uh, and little knickknacks that they get to you know kind of mess around with so yeah let's grab some music there we go anyway yeah so here's makoto mm, looking good looking good it's real simple done and dusted is not really the quote i expect uh for makoto but you know to be fair makoto is a science protagonist so <laughs> i guess that's fine uh let's go to yukari there you have it all right yeah we've seen this one wow the difference between this uh it could be the screenshot quality but yeah it's just like you know she's wearing her pink uh you know kind of like pink dress and then boom the black jacket comes on the art the shoulder pad comes on uh that's actually kind of a funny placement uh so it's not maybe it doesn't actually like curve over your shoulder but you know maybe she doesn't want it that way she is an archer after all so you know you need to have flexibility in your arms uh you know if you've done archery well junpei yori let's go that's the game all right now that's that's a fire quote uh, that'll definitely give some Junpei some points when I start ranking uh, the characters after uh, after we move on to the theurgies and outfits. Well, that's definitely going to give him some booster points. So look at the difference. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, he's got his old, like, you know, like, typical, like, over, you know, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's an... It's like a jacket, right? Yeah, this is like a jacket. Mm -hmm. And then when he goes to his blue one, ah, it's just so smooth. He looks so much better. So I think it's, it's that's funny actually because everyone gets um we'll talk about the outfit section but everyone gets black coats like this time around and then Junpei you know kind of loses the black coat like to be fair I don't really think this uh this this outfit here is really fit for fighting um but here you know it's a lot better you know you got gloves you know your sleeves are rolled up don't get caught in your long sword etc looking really good and that's the game just such a such a kicker uh, on to the next bout again that's another banger quote for Akihiko wiping off the sweat you know. God, he looks great. It's cool. Yeah, and he, the, these ones will only have uh, these normal variant portraits uh, with the shoulder pads just because the Atlas did not release them yet. Uh, here we have Fuka. Uh, she's sad because she didn't get an all-out attack screen. Why would you do this, Atlas? Uh, Futaba got one. Why can't Fuka? I'm very sad. Uh, moving on to uh, the one that everybody loved. Uh, Mitsuru, kneel before me. And I mean, that's fire. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I will indeed do that. Uh, fast, uh, scrambled Faz, uh, who, you know, reports a lot of the Persona content, uh, just tweeted just tweeted this image and said, okay. <laughs> and just the replies, it's too funny. That's what I love. Uh, it's, I love, I love seeing stuff like this and why I wanted to, you know, rank him and stuff. Let's, uh, move on though to the obvious S tier. Uh, well, at least that's Mitsuru, but we have Aegis and hey, the music just kicked in to be the memories uh, The memories of the school and that's so unfortunate target neutralized. Uh, yeah, looking looking pretty simple over here. I'd say uh, Argus's all-out attack was all right It's a call. I, I actually found hers to be the most bland I'll be honest for her ending pose But one thing I did like is that someone pointed out is that her and Makoto's all-out attack uh, have a very similar uh, shift uh, they both lean to the side, you know, I guess is leaning this way and then we go to Makoto. Uh, he is also leaning this way. So that's a really cool reference, uh, you know, to the special, you know, kind of relationship those two, uh, these two characters have. So that's pretty awesome. Um, target neutralized. Yeah, kind of, kind of simple. That's all right. All right. Ken, uh, trips over his spear, falls over. Don't look down on me. Listen, Ken, you're great, but, uh, that's a, that's a, uh, minus points, my friend. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, moving on to something a lot more funny though. Woof woof. Uh Koromaru. Everyone's wondering, it's like, oh, you know, if he if he ever gets a haul out of attack screen, you're like, what's he gonna say? You know? <laughs> and then it's just boom, it's just woof woof. Very simple. That's an S tier. Moving on to the last one. Shinjiro. Don't waste your breath. Now yeah, it like <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it <laughs> shinjiro friends are a different breed and also just like once again um just like his cut in you know like saying like i'm just trying to make sure i don't fit in uh shinjiro kind of does look like that uh in this case you know you can barely tell uh he looks he looks so much different from every other all out attack that we finished <laughs> it's, uh i love shinjiro fans you all are crazy but yeah that's the all out attack screen you know something you know something kind of the blaze through really quick uh not too much to talk about there let's get on to the um you know maximally important part also just look at this wow they're all together like this looks like such a complete thing and also see you know what the heck guys give puka an all out attack screen why would you, why would you why would you upset the order like that uh but anyways yeah Let's move on to the theurgies. I'm going to kill the music now. All right. <clears throat> Here is the theurgies. Uh, the protagonist, I mean, I'm going to show it, but I will kind of not really rank it because it doesn't count because uh, he has the multi-theurgy. 
There you go, Orpheus, smacks a fool. Yeah. yeah, you yeah, he gets he gets multiple theories, so it's not fair. Uh, to really rank it. Yes, let's go. All right, uh, let's do Yukari's Theurgy. I wonder, I, how do I feel about Yukari's Theurgy? I don't know. That's a good question. And where did it go? Yeah, I sure hope it's here. <laughs> here it is. All right, what you got? Yeah, the leaked one. Persona, Persona Arena, do the backflip. Boom. And that's how it's done. Nice, all right um i'm all right i think i'm definitely like you know that's that's all right it's it's almost i i would call it low-key identical uh to persona 3 uh persona 3 arena except of course the uh, persona uh, doesn't actually grab you they just uh the <laughs> yukari just kind of fires like five million wind arrows at you uh, but that's all right uh let's look at let's look at um yeah and actually you know uh while we're at it this is where i'm going to start switching uh to also ranking the outfits because you know i think it kind of goes hand in hand uh with doing the theory because that's where we'll complete uh, you know, all the rankings. So, um, yeah, I did, I did skip a little for it. We'll, we'll rank Yukari first since we did, uh, check her out. These portraits, by the way, oh, perfection. They're so good. These look amazing, man. I, I love, I love like these, like, sort of like monochrome, uh, style, you know, really just like draw out like the characters, like personality in their eyes. It looks great. But yeah, let's go ahead and rank Yukari first. Um, uh, image is a little small. Let me, let me open a new tab for you guys here. Yeah. Actually, no, it's gonna it's gonna mess up my zoom. Okay. Hopefully this is enough for uh people to sort of see uh Yukari. But yeah, here is the uh new armor that they have for the game. And I mean man, it looks good. Um in general, uh, you know, I and like the reason I want to talk about it is because of like all the changes. So uh, for number one, okay, I will I will zoom in for this actually because it's way too hard to see. Uh where is my zoom button, guys? What the heck? Here it is. I hate the Google update so much. Anyway. So she's got, um, you know, a freshly new uh, bow and arrow uh, with the C's logo printed on it. So that's awesome. Uh, of course, the thing that I mentioned earlier, she everyone is wearing kind of their original outfits. So she's got the uh, pink jacket over with the uh, black skirt. And now she has this new uh, black, new fully black vest that uh, seems to free up her shoulders. Uh, we did see that this side was not covered as much because it is her... Uh, yeah, it is her firing arm, so it actually does make a lot of sense why the shoulder pad doesn't cover all the way, so she can have more flexibility uh, when, you know, using a bow and arrow, because that's pretty key. And then, you know, the other side, other side actually properly stays armored. Still keeps the... Um, I forgot what this is called. There's a word for uh, this uh, bow here, specifically. It's a cravat. A cravat. Yes, yes, yes. Unless it is a bow, and it's not a cravat, but never mind. Uh, yeah, but that thing there, and then, you know... Uh, she always keeps, uh, you know, the the evoker strapped to her thigh. And then I think that's pretty much about it. I'm pretty sure she was always wearing like, you know, like high socks and slides uh, beforehand. Um, but yeah, this is a, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good design overall. And she just, she just looks good in it. The addition, the, like, you'd think like, you know, like you have the, you have the, you have this and, you know, like presumably like an undershirt and this, like, it's like three layers. Like, that's crazy. But uh, it, overall, it works out. It looks very good. So that is Yukari. Now let's move back to Makoto because, you know, our good old protagonist got to look good uh, for the show, my friend. And there we go. Here is Makoto. And he just looks so much cleaner. Um, I don't really consider it to be like the biggest change because this is almost his default outfit. Uh, you know, long black pants, white shirt under, you know, gray slash black shirt over. But they've made a significant emphasis uh, on Makoto's headphones as well as you know the walkman that he carries around or i mean i think it's like a walkman mp3 player something from the 2000s uh that i did not necessarily grow up in but yeah yeah i got the short sword and everything and they they yeah they've really made a they've really made an emphasis to you know show um that he is carrying that and someone i watched a video recently it was like oh persona 3 had cannons uh you know every time you hear this music in the background is actually uh, what you know what you're hearing is just what the protagonist is listening to so I think that's really cute it's really cute head cannon uh, I am curious about the number let me actually zoom in it looks like number three and it, of course it makes sense to be number three but like the real question is why would it be number three because Mitsuru in theory is uh, party member number zero and then Shinjiro and Akihiko are one and two so that leaves Yukari to probably be number three but 
of course that makes no sense because the protagonist even on the box art says three of course you know that makes a lot of sense for marketing purposes but who knows maybe mitsuru uh doesn't count as like a member or something and then that's why uh makoto can be number three but you know i don't know it's it's strange it's very very strange so i'm curious to see the numbering on the shoulder pads there but yeah pretty simple but looks you know ultimately like it looks very good uh let's move on to junpei's theurgy uh which i actually don't think is here because i need to go to a different trailer now gosh dang it. okay uh we see fukas well we'll talk about that later i know he's special attack yeah he trips over and then the persona messes him up he gets back up and they some justice nice okay um it's all right it's kind of okay i kind of hope his second one is better uh that was all that was honestly just all right and i feel like i just closed the video uh that i needed so <laughs> oh boy let's go ahead and uh, just grab that back let's go over to our history and it should be somewhere in here i sure hope wow uh this is going wonderfully guys here it is mr <laughs> walter white <laughs> we have to cook oh man okay yeah okay yeah so that, that was june pace we're back on track now uh, uh it was okay yeah and uh with that out of the way uh let's go ahead and look at junpei's outfit themselves here we go so here is junpei's outfit and let's zoom in a bit there we go yeah let's go. junpei is such a big portrait i actually have no idea i'm gonna fit in anything because he's just giant sword honestly you might <laughs> you might want to photoshop that out just so you can fit junpei into any thumbnail um but yeah looking good looking good like i mentioned earlier the jacket is really a big change uh that i do like a lot oh and <laughs> there you go uh his proper jacket is actually stored on his waist now so he's filling out um the male fantasy of being a clone wars uh clone wars battle suit so that's cool um yeah looking really good though like uh and this is actually the thing i probably should talk about every character has had the addition of gloves of sort i believe yukari had an archer glove in like you know her section if i kind of go back uh to yukari um yeah she's got um no she doesn't have archer gloves okay so that's unfortunate that would be a perfect time uh to introduce like you know an archer glove thing because you know yukari is kind of the most prominent archer uh in persona i would say and then makoto uh himself does have black gloves as well so that's super cool junpei over here has some pretty tough gloves uh you know kind of like you know they're a lot thicker uh because you can see the you know you can see how much they bulge out uh you know on his hands so that's really interesting i'm actually surprised um you know he probably has the thickest gloves of anybody else in you know the team but i think it makes a lot of sense considering you know junpei is the dirty fighter um you know he's the one who does tons of fizz damage so you know it makes it makes sense why you know junpei would be the one uh to be having that um i don't know i think i'm guessing that's a change for this one but he once again has the thigh strap uh for his evoker so that's very interesting uh you know of course his jacket is covering uh his waist so he doesn't he can't have a belt for it and then you know got the nice long sword carrier so that's awesome but yeah looks uh looks overall really good i think i think the pose is mostly just selling me uh, even though junpei is very basic uh you know in general he also even has pockets on here to actually make utility of his new outfit so yeah that's junpei and you know while we have kind of had a little bit of conundrum uh let's start ranking uh some of these guys so makoto i think he's i think he's i think he's just looking all right um of course he doesn't get any bonus points because of theory no theory animations i can properly rank uh without you know making it completely unfair so yeah uh junpei looking all right i it's i, I don't know i i feel like it's a bit of a cop out to say but i think i think the three starter characters have been kind of just okay uh they haven't they haven't like jumped out of the water for me uh just yet. but we'll we'll see we'll see what happens when i get uh through the through to the rest so let's move on to akihiko and i do know akihiko actually does have his therapy attack in his thing in fact here it is so let's take a look to protect others and i thought being hard on myself and competing with others oh the was uppercut the only way I was critical baby but now i have people there we go. Who i want to protect oh yeah Bop. we're gonna blow them one after the other very nice very this nice yeah let's go let's run it run, run it back one more time run it back one more time let's I do have that people who i want to protect it's a better it's a better baseball super than junpei we're gonna and that's the crazy part uh it's not really uh i don't think it's taken uh inspiration quite yet from arena because you know this one technically doesn't really uh you know he just has a different persona in that one but anyway uh moving on to akihiko's outfit 
Oh god, he just looks so good. This might be uh, a little more than average, I would say. Uh, it is still, you know, his white shirt and the vest uh, that he always wears. You know, keeping the blo uh, long black pants and then the slides. Uh, now, this is definitely where I would start pointing things out because this is one of the things from Arena, but it seems to be that Akihiko always likes to carry uh, his evoker on the side right here. You can see uh, the holster for his evoker, uh, you know, kind of like on a side strap, uh, which is very interesting. He has a replicated stride strap on the side as well to match, uh, which is cute. But it just it looks super duper stylish. And this is one of the things they are taking from Arena uh, where he has a similar setup. I believe and I, I don't recall in the main game uh if they were ever had like evokers on hand to an extent but yeah uh that is akihiko you know with the shoulder pad just looks really complete uh you know everyone having just that dash of red in their color scheme uh looks really nice especially akihiko because he gets the pair with it another thing i like to know and that you'll notice a lot of trend uh with these characters is that they all have little backpacks of sorts or like carrying cases uh you know presumably for meds which is kind of funny uh you know because of course in the original uh persona 3 fes you couldn't uh you know you didn't give direct commands to your allies so you know if they wanted to use like medicine and stuff it's like well where'd you get that um but yeah <laughs> they have they kind of have like these little packs so it's nice to see because you know persona 3 uh the c's are you know kind of like you know like a really like really individual like you know like shadow fighting unit unlike uh you know kind of unlike persona 4 and persona 5 like persona 5 like you know they they have like they're actually proper outfits but you know it's a lot more magic based uh than practicality based so yeah that's pretty cool also i mean i don't know if these gloves are technically new because akihiko is always wearing like gloves uh in persona 3 because you know he is the boxer uh but yeah that is akihiko let's go ahead and rank akihiko i'm actually definitely gonna put akihiko uh up into a looking good tier because you know i think i think this design is doing a lot uh for him now let's move on to the next character in line which should be i guess right oh no it's mitsuru okay let's do mitsuru i think she has a third attack yeah no she does this is the one people went crazy for and i mean you know what i agree this is the right way for a person to rule yep there we go boom sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh freeze oh yeah and then she ice skates all over him once again, uh, our Persona Arena coming in, like freeze them, else. and then smash. Excuse me. What's it called? That is that is peak. That is unquestionably peak uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, the thirties that we've had so far. What's it called? She also has her critic. She also has her original critical where she literally just like kicks them, uh, which I, I won't show that. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like we did go out of order. But whatever. Uh, but here is Mitsuru's new outfit and uh once again ah okay it's it, it this is this is this one's the most funny to me because it's sort of like the middle ground because you have original mitsuru uh with just the uh white uh i don't know what article of clothing it is i'm assuming it's like a blouse question mark i don't know you can go bully me about in the comments but uh we have uh that and now we have this like sort of like over vest uh to take it over and it's kind of the in-between evolution of mitsuru's design uh going into persona 4 arena where she has the full black shadow op suit uh which is just crazy uh you know and she looks like super duper you know like she su looks super imposing uh with it uh yeah it's got all that stuff but yeah here is her persona 3 reload uh battle outfit and this looks you know looks great you know got the heels got the uh got the high got the high high heeled boots and you know this kind of over this kind of over uh, over vest i think it bleeds into the skirt yeah it does it does all it goes all the way so it's either that oh i don't know i can't tell you can't tell down there but uh yeah mitsuru seems to keep her evoker yeah actually on a utility belt and once again uh we see the debt packs back there and the evoker and you know just everything else that you need uh full gloves which is awesome and then the shoulder strap but mitsuru looks like peak she's even got the cape uh just for funsies and the rapier so she looks great and like it looks really really good uh again once again it should be a bow maybe a cravat we'll see but i think mitsuru is unquestionably uh pe looking like peak in persona 3 reload but let's move on to the next character who do we have it should be fuka let's go for fuka unless it's not fuka and i'm wrong oh it is fuka okay yay uh fuka should have her thing in here pretty sure let's just take a quick look yeah here's a uh, fuka theurgy uh you know do have to rank it a little bit differently because you know she she doesn't attack anybody so i can do this mm -hmm. yes for my friends 
I, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like um, I like the water motif fully coming in um, into her design because, you know, before it was always like, you know, she was kind of like in like a water ball. Uh, but with the new emphasis of water uh, in Persona 3 Reload as sort of its main theme, uh, you know, to an extent, I would say like Persona 5 kind of has like fire as like, you know, it's sort of like backing element for animation effects. Uh, Cause you know, you see a lot of like crit, you know, you see a lot of sharp things, you know, sharp things dart by, uh, you know, and like a lot of like, uh, specifically, what is it? The, remind me, it's the baton passes have a fire effect whenever you do it. Uh, so that's kind of the theme I would associate with Persona 5 and, you know, Persona 3 over here has water. But yeah, uh, that's pretty all right. Uh, not nothing I'm gonna like jump out of my seat of, but here is Fuka's new design. And I would say this is the one with the most changes because number one, to be fair, you don't really get to see Fuka that much in Tartarus in the first place. Uh, so that's super, uh, that's a big difference. But I do think that she has the most changes out of everybody. So uh, once again, Evoker on the belt, um, you know, med medicine pack in the back. And she even does keep the shoulder pad. You can barely see it in there. But she also has uh, the overcoat that uh, sort of like an overcoat poncho, right? You know, probably just like, you know, like he, it's like it's a, once again that like rain water motif. You know, you can even see water droplets here. It's like, you know, she's trying to keep uh, keep dry, you know, in the weathery uh, places of Tartarus, which is not actually a thing that happens. But, you know, uh, and lastly, the thing that's nice is that um i think this is something from persona 3 dancing that i would call it but um her headphones she gets a headset because i'm pretty sure in her persona 3 dancing um version she did have a pair of headphones uh, which makes a lot of sense of course you know uh persona 3 being a bit of a musically oriented game but as well as uh you know she's the team uh team navigator you know got to keep on comms got to make sure you communicate she's even got the mic uh, so that looks super cool and overall i'm just very happy with this like this looks so so nice and i love i love the use of the poncho uh you know to like kind of keep it online so fancy but yeah that is fuka and i think fuka uh is looking good uh for this game but look at the improvement between the arts like this is the original and now look at where we are uh, now it's crazy uh speaking of the next character and yeah this is why i had this tab open because these are kind of low quality so we're gonna move on to the other tabs now it is i guess time let's take a look at i guess this theurgy like going we shall okay. conduct a raid indeed. Let's it's gonna be right here. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shoot into the sky, does a bunch of stars, and bam! There goes Igus. Oh. I actually uh, went ahead and reviewed uh, Igus's All Out, uh, not All Out, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> I, reviewed, I reviewed her Persona Arena special, and it's like the giant gun. So, like, you know, this is definitely more on brand <laughs> for sure. Now, with Igus, like, she has all the lights, all the visual flares, you know, she's got the yellow spark, uh, you know, so I think she gets a bonus in that regard, uh, but not necessarily the most, not necessarily something I think I'm super excited about. I think the reasoning is because it felt really weird when you saw Igus, like, you know, zip around. It makes a lot of sense, you know, for, like, animation purposes, like, you know, have the wind up before you have the, have the wind up before you actually do the big strike, uh, you know, to kind of make more of an emphasis, but yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of i guess is theurgy but i mean who knows maybe i just need to see more but overall it, it does look very good it is one of the uh longer ones and you know one of the more impactful ones too anyway um this is the part that of course i guess is going to suffer a little bit because she has very little changes in her combat mode uh she honestly has more changes in her uh over overworld form or like you know the schoolgirl form uh which you know we're not gonna rate because i'm not doing that uh she pretty much effectively as far as I can tell, it just gets the shoulder pad. Still has uh, the giraffe nubs that people call them, or fire awakening nubs. Um, you know, still got you know the side little arm cannons through the fingers, and then we get a zoom in on the face. Look at that, very nice. Yeah, but honestly, yeah, I guess is looking pretty all right. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to put her like yeah, I'll put her at the top. Yeah, she's she's doing okay. Cool. And again, I don't think these guys are mid. It's just like I don't know, they didn't jump at me that much. Uh, which, you know, might just be my own biases, but yeah, we're done with Igus here. Let's move on to Koromaru, which I think, I think everyone from here on should have their theurgies in their trailers, which is very nice because I don't have to go on a hunt. Yeah, here we go. All right, Koro, let's see it. Bark, bark. Already, already low-key looking good for that funny all-out attack. Oh, yeah. Just like Arena. 
Except not really because you don't do this, but <laughs> go Cerberus. Die. <laughs> yeah, that's peak. That that is definitely uh looking really good, honestly. Uh Koromaru looks super good. Let's actually take a look at Koromaru's design here. Yeah. So here's Koromaru's new design. And yeah, you know, these retaining the uh kind of like winged jacket of sorts. I d I never actually knew why Koro had like this winged jacket of sorts. Uh, it was always a strange thing, but they did change the colors from uh, white to black. So Koro actually kind of looks more uh, like a guard dog or like, you know, like a proper like SWAT dog uh, than uh, what he was before, where he just kind of looked fluffy and cute. But yeah, this is super neat. Also, uh, I'm surprised they were able to design the shoulder pad and uh, kind of fit it onto Koro Mario. But hey, if it works, it works. Uh, can I see a number on there? Let me let me get a closer look. Let me see if there's a number looks like number eight that's what it looks like in my opinion but yeah yeah we got the knife everything yeah but Koro, Koro's looking Koro's looking great and also just last but not least the medical kit <laughs> uh you know it's got a, got a little heart on it so that's that's adorable uh and you know like that's how people can tell where there's medicine uh on the uh sea so where's Koro gonna go I think Koro's gonna go into a looking good man's best friend for real for real let's move on uh, it's the next character ken now ken uh i already dogged on him for the all attack right okay but you all know you all know his his theurgy is like unironically peak like it's so crazy here let's see him whack himself in the foot again how unfortunate <laughs> oh it sucks to suck buddy how unfortunate bop bop so intense mister yeah this one yeah Once again, uh, a re kind of an arena reference, but boom, that that hit. Oh, that hit so well. If I to go and yeah, there's even this little pose here. I'll, I'll, pa I'll pause it on the right spot. Tosses the light lance down. Boom, weak. Throws it that throws the hands down. It just it looks way too good for Ken. Like this is awesome. That's unironically, uh, unironically probably gonna go to the top of the tier list. Maybe maybe Akihiko solos you, but. Let's take a look at Ken's outfit. Now, Ken actually, and yeah, and I think this is the one thing I was led to believe, uh, you know, just based on, you know, looking at the designs and stuff, but um, all of the characters, you know, these coats seem to be from like the same designer or like, you know, they're designed the same way. Uh, Cause this is very similar to Junpei's go, of course, size down uh, for Ken, but yeah, here's Ken. He's got the giant spear, you know, kind of really to emphasize uh, his size. That's kind of uh, one of the things. Uh, he's also got a little strap carrier uh, you know, I, I, it's not for the spear, I'm guessing. It's more just like a backpack because, you know, he's too short uh, to actually carry the spear on his back. I'm pretty sure, unless it's like an extendable, but I, I really doubt um, they have that much equipment. You know, once again, has the shoulder back. Let me see if I can see the number. I doubt it. I so doubt it. Like you can see the number. I cannot read that. <laughs> that is unreadable. Yeah. So I don't know what number that is. Uh, Ken's got like fingerless gloves, a little interesting. Uh, you know, once again, you know, most of the C's all getting some sort of glove type and then, you know, the extra pockets for carrying all the supplies. Looking, looking pretty, looking pretty good, Ken. Uh, not bad, kid. I'll put you right there. Uh, Fuka's gonna take, take over you because, uh, I like Fuka. <laughs> okay, anyway, last but not least, we have Shinjiro. Uh, now Shinjiro's, uh, theurgy, I will, of course, know it is, it, it is actually, uh, not the full thing. So, you know, the, you know, it will look a little funny, but in general, uh, let's see what Shinjiro looks like. Oh, Boardings have approached. here we go. Bop, bop, faster, bloody charge, brat. <laughs> Goes super beast mode. And then here's the cut and he drops it on them. Well, oh, that's so cool. And like me, me knowing what the uh, cut part is, which again, like, Search at your own risk unless you played Persona 3. Um, but what's it called? Yeah, like it is, there is a longer version of his theurgy animation. But uh, moving on to his outfit, look at that. Every time they they just, they, they made sure to show you like these people are imposing. That axe is ginormous. Uh, and honestly, uh, probably really unwieldy. I don't think you would uh, hold a halberd uh, of that size. But uh, let's take a closer look at Shinjiro's. I am actually intentionally going to take a closer look because it's very hard to see uh, what is even happening in here uh, because he's wearing um, a lot of black that blends in uh, in his clothes. 
but uh well, number one seize on the axe so that's super duper cool i'm glad they keep doing like sort of like themed weapons uh it's a really nice addition uh to have we got the spiked gloves nice nice uh the standard uh shinji overcoat now this is kind of the part where um i think there are some like slight changes um he's got the black undershirt and he has the scarf but there's this belt buckle uh, which i pointed out in the original uh you know i don't think he had his and of course you know shinji being shinji uh <laughs> he's got his uh he's got his utility belt but it's loose uh and he's got his evoker on it because that's just how he carries himself you know and you know that's kind of about it everything looks pretty standard what uh six is where shoes are you wearing? yeah you're wearing some uh standard dress shoes uh you know nothing much outside of that but yeah looking looking real good uh shinji so let's go ahead and rank shinji now i'd say i'd say shinji shinji's definitely going to looking good. i'm surprised i thought um i would have more i think i need to be nicer to junpei uh <laughs> because he's got the home run but his theurgy looks so goofy so you know yeah, Yukari uh, didn't impress me. Protag, like, you know, of course we love the Protag, but, like, it's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Uh, but, yeah. Well, that is all the rankings out of the way. And just, you know, kind of as a final thing, uh, they're uh, on uh, MeowvyCat, uh, is Twitter. Uh, you have all the damaged and the, uh, you know, battle portraits. You know, everyone kind of compares <laughs> the uh, the stuff to the Giga Chad meme. Uh, so it does, they did still retain that. And, you know, there's just a lot more color, a lot more spark. Uh, and these they also damage portraits where everyone's like oh uh, ooh, i'm in pain and then Junpei's like zoink scoops uh <laughs> even this guy right here everybody else visible pain junpei ah, <laughs> it's, it's so funny uh what's going oh fuka doesn't have a damaged portrait that's funny okay uh yeah no it makes sense though but here uh if we go and zoom all the way out is your c's squad i mean look at that they just look incredible like in, in all in all like the just it's really little touches you know just adding everyone has a layer of black uh you know kind of like how in persona if i'm not mistaken everyone has like a layer of red or at least some sort of like red adjacent uh accent color uh you know this one they're going all black um with their clothes you know they got the jackets if not something something else like that i actually wonder if more things have c's on it so that that's kind of interesting but yeah the, just the whole squad looks so so good and I'm really happy uh, to see, you know, the, all these updates uh, to their designs and stuff. And overall, you know, like, even to be the, the silly, silly ranking in general, uh, I cannot wait to be playing the game, you know, which is just really fresh take on a, the Persona 3 cast and how well uh, they all look. And hopefully there's still more surprises uh, before we get to there. And uh, speaking of, that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. Um, you know, uh, like I said, this is kind of the send off to Persona 3 content for now, um, because they're likely not going to release any trailers until February, you know, like, you know, then maybe they have like a DLC day one DLC trailer, but, uh, this is probably the last Persona 3 video you're going to be seeing from me for just a while. Um, because you know, there is nothing else to talk about. Um, and that is, that doesn't veer into spoiler territory. Of course I will, uh, change if, you know, there is something else, uh, like that, but yeah, that is pretty much going to be it, uh, for me for persona 3 reload until we can actually properly play the game i'm super duper excited uh to actually play but you know that will come uh with time uh one and one half months february 2nd baby 2024 but yeah uh that is gonna be all for me at Creations. be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next time goodbye